we will teach you how to develop a 3D enclosure project. For you to use it in several projects of electronic boards. Furthermore, we will teach you how to produce it with industrial quality of 3D printing at JLC 3D. To develop this project, we will use Fusion 360 software. It is software. widely used by many users who work with 3D printing because it has a very simple interface to work and with. with a multitude of resources for you to develop 3D projects on the computer with CAD, CAE, and CAM. In addition, it has three versions. One pays a student version, and another free version for hobbyists. You can use Fusion to develop numerous projects such as motion simulation, organic modeling, machine design, electronics enclosures, and more. In addition, Fusion 360 lets you design circuit boards within the environment printed, itself. I.e. This can help you to develop the any electronic product and with 3D modeling tools, you can create the enclosure for your own project. This software is fantastic and has many features for you to explore. Leave it here in the comments if you like or it. if there is any software that you are interested in learning from now, us. Now, let's start creating our 3D enclosure. Firstly, you must create a sketch and select a plane for the drawing. For that, I want you to click on letter R to select rectangle command. And then, draw a rectangle with center, with width and length, equal to 80 millimeters. Now, click finish and we will apply the extrude command to give volume. Select sketch and enter the value of 30 millimeters. On our next step, we will apply the fillet command to create rounded corners on the enclosure structure. Select the four corners and enter a value of 12 millimeters for the radius. Now, let's split the enclosure into two parts. One for the lid and one for the bottom base. First, you will create a reference plane with the distance of 1.8 millimeter in relation to the underside of the base part. Now, we are going to use the split body command. Select the part to be cut, and then the tool that will be used for cutting. Our tool will be our own reference plane. After cutting, disable the plan used, and now see the result of the piece divided into two parts. Now, let's apply the material in the structure of the two created pieces. First, we will choose a white plastic for the top piece and a red plastic for the bottom part. And finally, let's change the name of the two pieces to top and bottom. After changing the names, select the shell command for you to create an empty region in the structure of the top part. Enter the value of two millimeters to the walls of the part and see the final result. Now, you need to disable top part preview and we will work on fitting the base piece. I want you to create a sketch on the face of the piece. Select the offset tool. Click on the part contour and enter the value of minus 2.4 millimeter. After that, we will apply an extrusion to the created sketch with the value of 1.5 millimeter. Now, we will do an inspection on the part through the tool. Section analysis. See that a gap has been created between the two pieces so they can fit securely. The value of clearance space is 0.4 millimeter. As you can see. After that, we will drill the holes with screws. For fixing the two pieces, you must disable the base part preview and create a sketch on the inner face of the top part. Then you will create the construction lines as shown below and they will be used as a reference to determine the positions of the created circles. At each point, you must create a circle with 8.5 millimeters in diameter. After that, select the four circles and you will apply an extrusion with the value of 24.6 millimeters. In this project, we are going to use insert nuts for fixing screws. See its structure is an M3X 6 millimeters insert nut, i.e. she has 3 millimeters thread diameter with a thread length of 6 millimeters. 
Now, select the nut and drag it into the project. All files used in this project are available on the links in this video. The next step is to select the top piece and create the holes for fixing the for insert nuts. Every hole will have a diameter of 4.5 mm and a depth of 6 mm. For that, I want you to create a sketch in the first element and click on the letter P to create a projection on all others. After projection, click OK and draw the circles with 4.5 mm diameter. After drawing, Click on Extrude, select the for circles, and apply an extrusion with the cut function with a value of minus 6 mm. Now, see the final result after applying the cut. In our next step, we will move the insert nuts for the holes created. First, you will select the insert nut and click on the Move or Copy tool. Then, you must select the Point to Point option. Click on the CTRL key, hold the CTRL key, and click on the center point of the insertion nut. Now, hover over face of whole frame, and click the center point to move the nut. After that, select the free move option, and move the part to the desired position. Click OK, and now, see the final result with our insert nut. Busy for the whole region. In the next step, you must create a copy of the insert nut and repeat. Same procedure as before for the other hole. Select the nut. Use the move or copy command. Click on the create copy option and drag the copy of the part to the side. Now you must repeat the process done previously for the other hole. After that, I want you to select these regions of the structure so that we can create a reinforcement and increase the rigidity of the screw fixing bracket. After selecting all regions, enter the fillet value of 1.65 mm. Now, see the final result. How are the structures? After application of fillet as reinforcement. In the next video, we will complete the project of this enclosure and I will show you other tools for you to create details in the structure to improve the design, appearance, as well as we will create fixing hole for the electronic board and much more. Watch the next video now and make your 3D prints at JLC3D. I wait for you now in the next video.